guys welcome back to my channel It's Polly Michelle and I am here with a different type of video this is my wallet and this is actually the Re recollections creative year I guess it's the zipped planner for recollections but I use it as a wallet and I just have these cute little tassels by recollections on the outside but I'm just gonna kind of give you a sneak peek I'm actually going to be transitioning this wallet into this planner that I'm going to use as a wallet because I like this more the color is more of something that I can look at every day this right here is nice but I'm getting tired of this design I should have gotten something a little bit more plain it would have made me probably enjoy it more but I did not so I'm just going to switch okay, this so out. I'm just going to open this up and like I said whenever I make purchases I keep my receipt in here because it's my wallet and this right here is just a piece of scrapbook paper that I was using as a divider, but I just kind of just stuck it in there. But yeah, so I still use the planner part. So as you can see, the, this is still the planner part. And what I do with the planner is every month I set goals here. I write down like everything that I kind of spent money on, I kind of write down. This is like my spending, my finances. And see, I have this today. I made this from something I purchased at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree sells these dividers. I just hole punched it with the six and um, used it. So we're here. This is today. So anything financial, I kind of document in here. All right. And then when you get back here, it's a tab that says money. And this tab is where I keep like my insurance ID, card. My insurance. Um, all of my credit cards, which I will have to clink, kick that out. That's but wild. this is a money tab. And behind here is where I keep all of my financial information, my ID, all of that good stuff. So I'm just going to skip over there. Okay. And then we have some more receipts here. And then I have my cash envelopes. I keep those back here. I do personal money. I do groceries. I do gas date night travel and home okay and then I have this little uh, recollections coin purse where I put my change from the cash envelopes in here and then here are like all the receipts where I've where I have spent my money like I just like literally went shopping today that's why it looks like this because I just throw all these receipts in here but I do want to show you this these these little sticky business card holders I purchased these at the Office Depot and they are a very, very nice addition addition to my planner. Um, these pages are the linen, white linen card stocks that I purchased from Dollar Tree. But I'm going to change these out and I'm going to get some double-sided scrap, scrapbook paper and I'm going to put some decorative scrapbook paper because this kind of, this white is looking real bad. And every time I touch it, I think it gets dirty. So I really don't like the way, I really don't like the way that look. This scrapbook is just, paper is just kind of, every time it gets all bent up. So I wanted to do something a little bit better. So yeah, this is where we are today. And I'm going to definitely make these changes. And I'm going to show you guys how it works out. So if you're interested in seeing how I set up this Recollections Creative Year Planner, as a wallet then just keep watching okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is take out one of the dividers that's in here and this is going to serve as my template when I get ready to make I'm going to go ahead and make my new card holders the background the dashboard I'd say for my card holders so I'm going to use this as a template okay so I am going to use a double sided paper that came with this Mandy kit I purchased this some time ago from Hobby Lobby, so I'm just going to use, this is the only scrap of paper that I have that's double-sided. I didn't realize that none of my paper pads are double-sided, so that, excuse me, that is awful. So this is cut apart, so I can't use that. So I may be able to use this black says shine. I don't want to use that part. It has this on the back. I just need something 
that has something on the back. Oh, this right here. But it's not really... I want. I wanted something a little bit more decorative. I really don't want to put two pages together. Oh, this one's cute. I might use this one. Or these stars. I don't think I want that one. This one says, hello, beautiful. And it looks like this on the back. I don't want to mess up the hello, beautiful. Ooh, but this one. This one right here. See? And then this one. Which I don't really like this side. It's very masculine though. Okay. I like the way that one looks. Um, I'm going to use this one. It feels really thick. Even though I like this one too. But then I don't want to mess up the pattern. So I'm just going to use this one. And like I said, we're just doing this. So I could probably just use this one and do all of them. Because this is enough paper. I could probably just do all of them on this one. And just have like it on different sides. I don't want to be cutting up all my paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these out. And punch them. And I'll show you what they look like. Okay so this is uh, what the dashboards look like. And this is the order that I'm going to put them in. And I think they came out. Turned out really 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 nice. Yeah. And my one concern was that this was going to be too tall for that, but it does, it does fit in there and I could always trim this, oh, sorry, it does fit, it is like right long, I could probably, I'll probably trim it down just a little bit, but yeah, on the way, on the way, so I'm just going to take the business card holders off of the white that I already have in my planner and add it to this and I'm going to start loading everything up over in the new one and I'll show you guys how it turned out okay guys so this is what it looks like I still have to put some things here I have not done that yet but I will put some clips and things here later but I have this little make great things happen and then I just added the part from the other planner here the calendar portion and they have like some graph pages I added that there this divider and this is the to do and then just the regular memo papers pages and then this is the area where I added the um, cards in and I have this extra sheet so when I add some more cards and then all of my envelopes and then just this and I'm gonna make oh god that just came out I'm gonna make a um, little pocket back here to keep my receipts in and I'll take them out every month but yeah so this is what it is looking like right now I just added this in here which was on the other planner and I just kind of just clipped it together and this right here I kind of don't like it right here so I'll probably add a piece of scrapbooking paper in the front I do have this piece left so I'll probably add that in the front some kind of way but yeah this is what it is looking like right now, and I think I like this better. This right here is actually a little bit smaller than this, and then I don't have to zip it, unzip it every time. I can just pop it open and get what I need out of it. So I think this is just going to be really nice and a lot more manageable. So yeah, so you guys can definitely use this as a wallet. Um, it's cute and it's functional and it works for me and I love it so if you guys have any questions leave all of your questions your comments everything down below if you're not subscribed take a moment to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss another upload I really appreciate you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one bye bye